Hello, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Viet and I'm vegan and welcome to another video of things that I've been eating lately, sort of. When I started filming this, I fully intended this video to be like things I've been eating lately, but that was like a month and a half ago. So here's stuff that I ate earlier this summer. I really underestimated how exhausting taking care of a small baby would be, but you know, such is life. So I haven't been making a lot of content here on YouTube, but I am on Instagram and a little bit on TikTok. So um, if you are missing me, that's where I have been. But yeah, here's stuff that I've been cooking lately. So I have some like dried garlic and herbs, bay leaf and pinto beans and salt. I don't know if I add anything else. Maybe I, you know what, I'm gonna add some onion. But I think I'm just gonna leave it whole because I don't think I want like onion in the beans. But I want the flavor of the onion. So that's the solution. So I'm going to instant pot this. I'm gonna put this on bean. I gotta plug it in. Uh, well, I think I'll do seven minutes on beans. Low battery. What? Well, what even batteries do you take? Scale is working. Eddie to the rescue. So we're gonna season it with a bit of mushroom broth powder and hot water. You just hydrate those soy curls. And this will be the protein. This is great for my video. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I'd been making this filling. It's like kind of carne asada-esque in flavor, but I've been making this a lot because I went through like a street taco phase for like a good month or so. And this is really, really tasty. Um, I have the recipe for this on the blog if you want that, um, but it's been really good for obviously street tacos, um, but also for burrito bowls. Since soy curls can be bought in bulk, it was a lot more affordable and it was really tasty and it's like easy protein whenever we want it. So that was pretty good. Um, here I'm making cilantro garlic rice, which I do have a recipe for. It's not like authentic, you know, cilantro rice because I think normally like there's like, I don't know, there's more stuff. I think there's also lime, but I just like cilantro and garlic. And this is a good way of me using up the uh, random bunches of cilantro that I aspirationally buy, but then let wilt in the fridge. So, you know, I use the leaves in the rice, the stems in the soy curls and voila, I use up a whole bunch of cilantro. And it's a great time. This has been a very good sort of like lunch situation and good for meal prepping as well. So Eddie will sometimes take this to work to eat and it's been a very good. He doesn't really care for the beans. The beans are more just for me because I really like beans. But yeah, if I had like more vegetables, like avocado, for example, to put on top, that would be good for like a guacamole sort of situation. Uh, I didn't have any pico de gallo, so I just made sort of haphazard stuff. Um, it's been pretty good for cleaning out the fridge because we always have some lettuce left over that uh, needs to be eaten. Another thing that I've been making lately to clean out the pantry uh, is this mung bean sticky rice. When Beanie was born, my mom came here to help us with, you know, the baby and food and taking care of me and all that kind of stuff. And she bought sticky rice for some reason. This was like a full bag before, after I finished testing, and now it's now empty. But I had this like giant bag of rice and I was like, I don't really like know how to make sticky rice. So I don't, I don't really know how I'm gonna get rid of this or like eat this. So I figured I might as well figure out how to develop a sticky rice recipe. Recipe. And I also keep buying mung beans because I keep forgetting that I have a bag of mung beans. So I have like two and a half bags of mung beans that need to be eaten. Granted, I really like mung beans. So like, it's not, it's not a huge issue, but yeah, this is one of the ways that I've been cleaning up my pantry with sticky rice. And this has been a really good sort of like quick lunch for me. Cause I can just stick in the microwave and then, you know, I have sticky rice and it is pretty baby friendly. Um, it is a little sticky, but I think that like, if you pump it up, it's like a little bit easier for like babies to like grab onto or chew. I have 
have been feeding Beanie this. Granted, it's been a little bit. Maybe I should remake this again and, and give it back to Beanie because Beanie's like sort of motor, fine motor skills have improved significantly since I first started baby blood weaning. I also started making this, um, I think when we got COVID. Surprise, we got COVID back in the beginning of June. I was pretty frustrated about how we got it, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> this was pretty good for like something quick that I could eat that was like fairly nutritious and I also ate a lot of kanji or jiao uh, which is the same ingredients rice and mung beans it was pretty good yeah I top it with coconut shreds and peanuts and actually I did post a recipe for this on the channel uh, that is like a dedicated video just for this so uh, I also typically top it with fried shallots but because I was testing it so much I ate all the fried shallots so that's why I ran out for this video going back to baby feeding I don't know if you are interested in baby food content I've been sort of doing a split between baby led weaning and purees I've been incorporating purees into Beanie's oatmeal in the morning uh, since Beanie is like fully breastfed breast milk doesn't really have a lot of iron so it's really important especially for uh plant-based babies to have like a source of iron uh like fortified iron uh because like after six months they're like iron stores plummet so they have like a higher daily recommended intake for iron from like six to 12 months uh which is kind of stressful um but you know, that's why they have like iron fortified cereal and Beanie loves that stuff. So every morning Beanie gets a little bowl of iron fortified slop with puree and breast milk. So it's been good. But um, aside from that, mostly Beanie just eats what we eat and I sort of modify it by cutting it or preparing in a way that is like more appropriate for babies. So I've been sharing some of that stuff on Instagram and I have a highlight of like Beanie eats um, type stuff and I'll be perfectly honest I don't think I've been as diligent or as like proactive about making sure that Beanie eats because sometimes I'm just really tired and I don't want to clean up the mess that baby led weaning incurs so that's why for example breakfast in the morning I feed Beanie and then sometimes lunch and sometimes for dinner Beanie will have food and is like self-fed or whatever with like hands and spoons and all that kind of stuff but for the most part Beanie has mostly just been eating breakfast and then Beanie will have either lunch or dinner, not usually both unless it's a weekend where I have Eddie to help me clean because it's, it's just a, a lot. I really didn't expect to be so tired <laughs> after having a baby. I mean, like I, I, I've been around six month olds before, like I helped raise my, uh, my brother when he was born. I was like 14 at the time. So I think I just had a lot more energy as a 14 year old versus as a 32 year old now. Obviously babies are very demanding and Beanie can be chill and like play by themselves for a little bit. But then a lot of times I'll put them down on the play mat and like scatter a bunch of toys around them. And they'll just like look at me being like, mother, why would you leave me on the floor by myself? And so a lot of times I end up playing on the floor with Beanie and helping mitigate the whininess <laughs> that is an eight month old. That's been a process and it's been tiring, but it's been very fun because Beanie's like on the, the cusp of like learning how to crawl. We're rolling. There's lots of rolling happening, but the, the crawling is a little bit slow because Beanie just wants to stand. They don't really want to figure out crawling when they'd rather just stand. So it's been a process. But apparently when I was a baby, I just skipped crawling all together and I just went straight to walking in like 10 months. I have a feeling we will have something similar. Beanie is like kind of crawling a little bit. They like go up into like a downward dog and then like splute forward. And so they end up moving like two or three inches. Um, there is forward momentum. It seems a little painful and maybe not efficient, but babies don't care about that. So, you know, so it goes. But as for creating content more regularly, um, basically every day during nap time, I have a total in the day about two and a half hours where I can eat, sleep if I'm sleep deprived because Beanie still wakes up in the night, shower, clean, cook, or work. And unfortunately work ends up being at the very bottom because I need to eat. <laughs> My house is a mess. I need to clean. <laughs> Um, or I need to shower. So unfortunately, working has become my last priority at bedtime when Beanie does go down for a nap or for like the night, uh, which is around like 7.38. I have usually like two hours to do whatever, but by the end of the day, I'm usually so exhausted that I can't even like, I don't have like any creativity left. I end up just reading. It's been frustrating because like, I really do want to work. I really want to like create more content. I have like five videos. I still have like videos from last year when we went to Halifax uh, that I need to edit because like it was it was fun and like those are like the more exciting well they're not the more exciting days. They're, they are exciting days. I think I have like two more vlogs I'm supposed to edit but I just like 
am completely exhausted. It is so tiring to take care of a tiny human all day, every day. And granted, I am I love it. So there are some days where I'm running off of like five hours of sleep and it's like broken because Beanie wakes up throughout the night. So it's been um, humbling <laughs> to like not be able to do what I want to do because like I'm just so tired but one thing that like motherhood has sort of taught me is that I need to prioritize like my long-term energy and protecting like my mental health and my physical health because if I burn myself out by like working and taking care of Beanie then I end up incapacitated with eczema and or like my brain like I'm like I have zero creativity instead of like 10% which is rough so it's been <laughs> A process of sort of finding balance and I know that this is like a temporary season I won't always be at capacity like this and it's been an adjustment when like Eddie went back to work I went full-time with taking care of Beanie and like it's not hard work but it is like all day and it, there's very little break um and it's just a lot of energy <laughs> so yeah I've been enjoying my time with Beanie and I feel very very grateful that like we can at this moment afford for me to like step back from working so that I can take care of Beanie. I'm still working, but it's like at a third or a fifth of the uh, the normal output that I would normally make. But if you are missing my content, I do post every day on Instagram like stories and on TikTok. So I apologize that I'm not as present here as I'd like to be, but I am still posting recipes. I'm still posting content uh, on Instagram. So hopefully I'll see you there. Um, I'm almost at like 100k here and I'm almost at 100k on Instagram, which is very exciting. So I appreciate you who have stuck by me through this hiatus of content, this season of life where I'm not as active online as I would like to be, but it's been a journey. I'll say that much. I wasn't expecting certain parts to be as difficult as they are, but at the same time, there's there's parts of like parenthood that is easier than I expected. Like I fully expected nursing to be a way more challenging journey, but it's been it's been all right. There, there are obviously hard moments. We've been pretty lucky. So anyway, that is the video for today. I hope you have enjoyed this rambly vlog where I start talking about food and then completely start talking about something else. But you know, I've, I've been told that you miss the rambles. So here, here they are, whether or not you like them. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking by me uh, during this time. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful and delicious day. <laughs>